Hello and welcome to this video. In our last video, we discussed reasons why a diversity visa applicant should not rush into submitting their DS-260. But we also mentioned that most applicants are not aware of that and some who have already submitted their DS-260 may later need to make corrections to the form. Now, for those of you who are not aware, after you submit your DS-260, you are prevented from making changes to the form unless you request KCC to reopen it. And so in this video, I explain how to go about asking KCC to reopen your DS-260 in case you have corrections or additions to make to the form after you have submitted it. So in case you have already submitted your DS-260, but you wish to make corrections or additions to the form, you must contact KCC by way of an email. You must send your email to the address kccdv at state.gov. That's the first thing. Next concerns the email itself. There is no specific format when it comes to the subject or the body of the email. As for the subject of the email, simply summarize the message that is contained in the body. You want KCC to reopen your DS-260. So the subject of your email could be DS-260 reopen request or request to reopen DS-260. It could also be DS-260 unlock request or request to unlock DS-260. Now, when it comes to the body of the email, there are two parts. You begin with the case information, which includes your case number at the top, followed by the full name of the principal applicant, beginning with their first name, their middle name, and then in the last position, their last name. And on the final line, you have the principal applicant's date of birth in the format month, date, and year. Now, if you are single in your case, you are the principal applicant. And so that information concerns you. And then further down in the email, you express your request. Be sure to include the specific DS-260 you want KCC to unlock in case there are more than one DS-260 in your case. So your DS-260 unlock request should look something like what you have on the screen. Next, there is no established time frame when it comes to KCC honoring your request to reopen your DS-260. Reopening could be affected by things such as the time of the fiscal year that you are requesting. It could also be affected by the priorities of KCC at the time that you are requesting, as well as the level of processing of the DS-260 concerned. The closer you get to the scheduling of your diversity visa interview, the harder it is for KCC to honor your request. There are risks involved in requesting to reopen your DS-260 when the processing of your case or the fiscal year has gone far. I mentioned those risks in the last video. So in short, the sooner you request for your DS-260 to be reopened, the better it is for your case. Now, how do you get to know when your DS-260 has been reopened? KCC is supposed to send you an email to inform you. And in most cases, you receive that email. But there are cases when the DS-260 has been reopened, but you do not receive the email. So what you should do is 
to continue to access the DS260 and see for yourself whether it has been reopened after you make the request to KCC concerning reopening it. And finally, after you request KCC to reopen your DS260, in case you do not receive any response from them and you realize that your DS260 has not been reopened, send them another email regarding the issue. But always remember the risks that are involved when you request your DS260 to be reopened after the processing of your case or the fiscal year has gone far. So these are the things you need to be aware of as you request KCC to reopen your DS260 after you have submitted it. And so that is it for today's discussion. Thanks for watching the video. And as usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment area below and I'm going to respond to them. And I will see you, God willing, in the next video. Goodbye.